Well, I just came out with a new CD. It's called Habaita, and it's my first explicitly Jewish CD, so it has an explicit lyrics warning on it. Actually, it doesn't, but you know what I mean. The others are implicit, and those have an implicit warning only for me saying it on this video. Everything's Jewish. All the CDs are Jewish. This one is explicitly Jewish, and it's really fun to sort of elevate the spirit of music and the spirit of Judaism and the spirit of worship and the spirit of connection through this CD, and I, I, uh, I feel privileged to bring it to the biennial. And the source of the inspiration for it comes from a lot of the work I've been doing, just traveling around, meeting people, and finding out that people are connected everywhere in ways they don't even know, and people are connected even when they are absolutely sure that they're not. And so I find that Judaism is a beautiful lens to look through for, for elevating that connection and really trumpeting it and making it clear to people. So I play a lot of instruments that are made from found objects and recyclable objects and a lot of homemade stuff. And that really has three sources. Uh, the inspiration has three sources. The first is I find things and I bang on them and they sound good. That's just, it feels good. It's, it's, it's like a disease, really. I just bang on everything. And I know a lot of you have that same affliction. It's a beautiful affliction. The second reason is the stuff is inexpensive and cheap and easy to find and is good for the planet, right? So it's, it's sort of inspiring in a, in a um, healing way that it inspires folks to, to take care of themselves and take care of the planet and make use of scarce resources in a constructive way. And the third thing, the third reason is just joy. You just do it and, and it, it fills you up, it fills me up and, uh, and it creates inspiration. That inspiration creates more inspiration. The energy begets energy. So that's where, the, that's where the recyclable music comes from. But even more than that, sort of the overarching thing is taking stuff that was cast off, that was forgotten, that was marginalized, and giving it new elevated life. And I feel like that's the story with a lot of people, is that they end up being cast off or marginalized or feeling like they don't matter. And I'm hoping that by playing these instruments, that implicit message comes through, that everything matters, everything is holy, everything is one, and these instruments matter even though they're created from you know, pieces of refuse and pe pieces of garbage. Praise, praise Yah, praise, praise Yah, praise, praise in the temple, praise, praise in the street, praise in the eyes of everyone you meet, praise for your partner, praise for your foe, praise for everyone and everything you know. Call and shama, call and shama, call and shama, te hallelujah. Call and shama, call and shama, call and shama, te hallelujah. Well, praise for your working, praise for your play, praise for your dreaming every single day. Praise for your thinking, praise through the night. Praise for your actions, praise with all your might. Call and shama, call and shama, call and shama, te hallelujah. Call and shama, call and shama, call and shama, te hallelujah. You've got to praise with a timbrel, praise with a dance. Praise with your senses every single chance. Praise with your fingers, praise with your feet. Praise with your heart every single beat. Call and shama, call and shama, call and shama, te hallelujah. Call and shama, call and shama, call and shama, te hallelujah. You got to praise with a trumpet, praise with a flute, praise with your harp, praise with your lute, praise with a bucket, praise with a pot, praise with crashing cymbals and everything you've got. Hey, call and shama, call and shama, call and shama, te hallelujah, call and shama, call and shama. Call Hanshama.